Yeah, I can see it now. Let's get the pose. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so yeah, I guess we'll do a whole unboxing. So I just want to look at it. Like we all, I think we all want to look at it. Uh, this is the Battle Lines game. I'm the co uh, rules guy and creative mind. Uh, you're the big brain. I'm the little brain. Jesus, these look really good. So I now I these these do this. fall out very easily. So yeah, be careful that, with them. Uh, you know, Juan almost popped out of his thing. Oh yeah, that is my fault. These I are really these are really solid quality. Well, some of them will have already come out, so you can pull. You know. Oh cool. I wanted to leave some of them together when I take oh, pictures. No, I'm gonna pull me out. This happened. I'm putting me on the stand. This I'm really super pleased with. Uh, a the rule book looks super dope next to the next to the cover. Look at that and see. And then I don't know if you knew about this. You did, of course. Uh, about the little story book we put in the very beginning about like describing the the tone of the game. It's meant to be written like a children's book because both childish jokes make us laugh. <laughs> and so it gets a whole story about them being just hungry and wanting to get to the front of the line. Speaking of uh, fight. Yeah. Speaking of childish jokes, we have right there. Definitely contains fart jokes. <laughs> oh yeah, <laughs> several uh, fart jokes, uh, almost naked nun jokes. Now who's that handsome dude right there? Good boy, look at that handsome guy. He got the he got the stylish beanie. It's like a, it's, it's like we couldn't be bothered to make original characters. I like it. Uh, yeah. And then there's the rule bit, I assume. Oh, here we go. Did this, uh... This I like in a rule book. Uh, in most of the bigger games, like Warhammer 40k and Magic and stuff, and Magic is awful about it. Their whole rule book, 128 pages, worth front and back, 10 point font of this. I like one or two pages of this in a rule book, but then like, give me some cool pictures. Yeah. Which is this part! The, uh, the making of and the how to play. This little helpful card, too. Yeah, I remember you were designing the layout of that thing. We kept having to try to figure out ways to uh, word things in a certain way so it would fit concisely on the card. That and, was a lot of fun to play and, around with. By the way, he keeps on talking to someone, and it's me, Aloha yeah. Bob, the creator of the game and designer of the original characters. And everyone within earshot, of which that Whoops. poor guy and the five <laughs> of us uh, let's see these. I'm what, did you see on the very back where your name was? Or not the very back, but... Um, so, oh yeah, no, no, no. I saw the, uh, I saw the accreditation. Yeah, about yeah. That. I love being named. Rules writing and random creative crap. Michael Madsen. I love it. I like the googly eye pictures in the back, too. And the sneak peek the stuff. We already have that many things on the line. You believe that? We're all... Yeah, the expansion well, decks. Well, I mean, that is, oh yeah, that is the, the true It is true. Yeah, we're we're all we're all one big happy Waple family, happy dysfunctional, uh, neurotic, lovable. So you're right; they do come out easy. <laughs> that one actually had already fallen out. Yeah, it's same thing with one. That was my so, I put But I like the fact that if you look at it from the front, yeah. you can see them like this, and then go ahead and turn it around. And it's the back. Everything's backwards. All their names are backwards. Did you sing the back of the card? <laughs> <laughs> That's clever. I also, this was something that I thought was really funny. How we added it, the 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 maple, like maple, the sign. It's because everyone always mispronounces it as Wapple. Is it Wapple? Is it wet play? Is it? Now I heard one guy got Wapple, and I'm like, now are you Mapple. actually a? You're kidding me, right? Put that aside. Yeah. Maple like maple. Maple like maple. Yeah, we put that in there literally just for the same reason they put the how to pronounce Hermione in the Harry Potter books. Yeah. Just so you could uh, put the front up to the camera. Look at these two handsome folks here. And those. Wait. <laughs> the whole family. Yeah, that's everyone. Line. That's that's me right there, Aloha Bob. And uh, me. my son Trey. Me. And then. M and then Ivana right there. Oh, I love it. I actually really like the how these pulled out or how these portrayed. It's really feeling yeah, they're very, those are very nice and thick. Yeah, I like the there's not a lot of give to these because I'm like, I had a nightmare scenario in my brain where like I didn't know how thick these were. And I just pictured some like, you know, 
almost old enough to play this game. Yeah, either get a paper cut from it or like you fold it in half as soon as you touch it. Yeah, did you pull out the stand? Okay, yeah, then and then the plastic standees to hold those up with. Yeah, since you're doing that, may as well. You said you're gonna pull you out. Yeah, I'm gonna pull. I'm gonna pull somebody out. I'm gonna pull. Yeah, you're already halfway out here. Whoa, we're halfway there. Whoop. All right, so moment of truth: Will they fit in the standee? Oh, I like it, glove. Oh, that's nice. Like a tight glove. Yeah. yeah. Look at that handsome fellow. It's hard to knock down. Unless you flick it. Yeah, it is. Uh, <laughs> well, you, you flicked it. I flicked it, yeah. <laughs> I, I broke the rule. Now we'll put it on a... Uh, there was one caveat. Yeah, there was one thing not to do, and we did it. Uh, and now these I'm actually hype excited about. That feels... It's got a nice slickness to it. It's the matte finish like we were talking about. Um, and, yeah, I don't think... I think I would yeah, one of those questions that I had was, is this a good finish? Is it something that people would be happy with? I like the... I like and you the think so? Here. But I hate gloss finishes because they're always... Uh, like when you're looking at it on a table, let's put this down. You know, there's no glare from any angle unless you've got a light like right here. Or, you know, keep that on the thing for just a moment. I'll pull up a light. You know, even with a strong light on it, there's no glare on matte finishes. There's just you know, yeah. I really like that. Yeah, I do too. Um, I can't believe it. it's a board game that we created. It's blowing my mind. And these are all these are jokes we wrote. Yeah, everything in here, totally original stuff. Every every bit of it. Hundred percent funny. Well, at least to us. <laughs> we think it's funny. I uh. Total of six boards, but my question originally was these. You know, the 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 way that the boards have that edge, what do you rather think than it's wrapped. Third party. How does that edge look to you as a, for the board? You know, it's not. Some boards have a uh, like a wrapped edge on it. I when this like a this does. Board. The does it look aesthetically pleasing to you. I don't think it matters. Like I take the I, I the own the only issue I th I could see ever coming from that would be curling. Would be yeah. what? Would be like picture curling up. Yeah, you might get some that, like frayed corners, but that that'd be the only issue. Does I that usually see. happen after a long time or something? Probably, yeah. Oh yeah, that's okay. a, that's a you well worn this game kind of thing. Like a, oh god, my copy of Mousetrap back in the day. I love that. I ate every one of those pieces of that board game. This is really nice. You had a total of six boards. Yep. So see, well, three physical, six they're all double sided, all covered in jokes and silly stuff and little. Things that may, here's the anime board. This is the one I wanted you to see the most. Um, on account of, you know, yeah. we're all filthy weeds here. This, uh... I even got mask. <laughs> yeah. We have, we, we, what, what it is is you give the artist a concept and they kind of run with it. Uh -huh. And so I don't know the name of this artist who did this one. Um, uh, this one's Azadar. Was this Azadar? Okay. Yeah. We can... He did all the boards. He did all the boards. Oh, he yeah. did all the boards and all the original this stuff was everything in here was Azadar. The only thing that he didn't do were the three expansion decks. Yeah, we'll but he did those, everything else. We'll get to those here in a little bit. But like something that I thought was kind of fun to do about these was like the board, uh, like the anime board here. We came up with a concept. First, we came up with the concept of the anime, this thing. And I drew a super rough sketch of just the one guy, which is uh, Bob and a bunch of hilarious uh, anime stuff. And I drew a very poor sketch. We've got, we've got it somewhere. And then from that, it was like, well, what do we want this to do? We just kind of give him the Azadar the option. He kind of came up with a rough draft. was like, just go do stuff. Yeah, and he, then we would make up jokes based on what he put on there. Um, <laughs> uh, where is it? The Where is the nature board? That had my favorite joke on it just because I wasn't allowed to keep it. Uh, that didn't say the word crap originally. It was just explicatives. <laughs> But it's, uh, you know, he put a bear trap there, so it would be a funny trap to, ah, oh, I stepped in a bear trap. What would I say if I stepped in a bear trap? You know, ah, oh, beep. <laughs> Explicatives. But yeah, these, <laughs> these look really good. These look really good. I like the quality of everything. I'm going to pull out the actual, the main deck. Oh, there's two more standees. Yeah, there are a total of four standees. Uh -oh. I was like, I, th I thought there were more in the last time we talked, but I'm going to put these back in the bag here. Boop, boop. 
And then the most important part of the game. Ooh. Ooh, I like that. You like what? These the, the, I'm a magic player. He's a magic player. We both play magic all the time. The cardboard boxes you get with product for magic, like when you buy a starter deck of magic cards, you get the big clamshell thing and you get a deck like this. This is actually really nice quality. Really nice. Yeah. Like it's firmer <laughs> than a regular, like we get the ones, ours suck, we just throw them away. I wouldn't want to throw this one away. Oh, good. Like that's actually kind of cool. Here's the quick play rules. And then it's me, the first card. Uh, here's the here's the big thing I want to test is we've got the board we've got the components we've got everything we need I want to see how it shuffles I'm gonna give it the old have you shoveled the deck yet uh once or twice but not did you shovel like this no I did it the other way oh you bridge shoveled it yeah because I'm gonna but not Ooh. I didn't do it nearly Ooh, as well as you did that sounded smooth Ooh, oh that's that's good oh that feels good uh, I did verify and he did say that this is black core Oh, that's black core. Yeah. This is. Oh. Ooh. That's nice to shuffle. I really like that. This is like a better deck of. Wow. Uh, yeah, I mean, it's like magic. Poker cards. Whoops. This man can shuffle a 100 card double sweep deck. Oh. That's. Uh, I say as I just <laughs> drop them all over the table. Well, you're used to the 100 cards. I, you know what? You're not wrong. <laughs> it takes some time to get used to having. That's a. Uh, and you'll notice, like, I'm doing that and there's no warping, which is something I think is really cool. On bad quality cards like the, uh, oh, there's black core, there's blue core, and then there's the poopy one that is not red, but it's the, green. is it the green stuff? It's, it's not a color, it's a, like, material. I know that fake magic cards are a lot of the time black. But... Yeah, the, the poopier ones will give you, um, if you do like that, it'll get you, like, a crease in the cards, but these... I'm bending the crap out of them, and there's, you know... Yeah, and they're still coming out straight. Yeah. It also helps that you, you know... Tony Hawk pro tip, when you shuffle, and you bend one way, always bend back the other. That way you, you know, negate the bend you did. Now, here's a question, quality-wise, that I actually was going to ask you also, but now that we're filming it, I'll make it for video. Uh, is, is this as high quality uh, as a magic card? That I don't know. All I know is that people keep on saying if you're going to make a good card, use the black core. And it's, it's that's the truth. So now, what, cards I, are blue core. what I want to do is I want to bring out. Hang on. Yeah, I was actually going to ask you to bring some other cards, but I totally forgot. So I'm going to bring out a magic card. Well, I have several. We'll bring out a relatively clean magic card. Creased. It's well, it's not creased. There's no crease in the middle, that's the important part. The way to test a good magic card, like a, whether it's a counterfeit or not, is to do something called the bend test, where you take the whole card and you bend it all the way tip to tip, and then you let it bend it and make sure there's no crease in the middle. That's how you tell like a really, really high quality card. I don't think these will crease. You just bend test the foil card? Yeah. Those crease. They don't. It's the bend. What? All right. <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing. I didn't just, you know, help make a game or anything. All right, we're gonna try it. I, if I, uh, you know what? We're gonna find someone we don't mind bending. Like the rule card? <laughs> yeah, like the rule. Actually, great, great choice. <laughs> I, I don't want to bend any of these, so we're gonna give it the old. Whoa! Nothing. That's smooth. Check that out. Ooh, like now, a, that would actually have like my bottom. Ooh, goodness <laughs> me. Uh, now, if it were actually, you know, a lower condition card or a lower quality card, it would have had a very obvious. It would have done that right off. The oh bat, yeah. You know what I mean? You know, as opposed to, you know, you do it the one good bend and not, it would have done that, which it would have been as severe as this one. But you know, I had to get the effect. That's really sick. That's awesome. That's really nice. And I'm not just embellishing for video. This is for my own benefit. Because I'm going to own a copy of this game. And I'm going to want to play it everywhere. I don't want my cards to get messed up. Uh, what else we got? We got the other deck boxes. The anime box. You know something... Um, now, just you have to keep in mind, these are empty. Remember, right, right, right. this is just so people yeah, can know are, that this is a, bo a, a, a box that holds... Four different yeah, decks these will in come the out series. Smaller in expansion. 
but the deck, the boards for these expansion decks are already included in here. Yeah. You know, as you show, the anime deck is going to come out, and we have the anime board. Right. The space deck, we have a space board, and same space for deck, the space board, and same for the scared stupid. Yeah. We I have, have a scared stupid board. I had a. That's the anime board. Yeah. And then yeah, this is the scared stupid one. The scared stupid one was actually inspired me on another project that I'm working on. Uh, <clears throat> That's Scarecrow. The Scarecrow. <laughs> that thing survived since the initial base sketch. We're like, here's a Scarecrow moon in people. It's hilarious. Um, we had the Feed Me Seymour plan. There was something else that got cut early on down here, I thought. It was, it was some big... I don't remember what it was. Yeah, but it was something I that I think it was a little too close to the original. Yeah, there was a little too much where we were like... Is that and, copyrighted? And we don't like, want to do that. that. Not, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's why the anime board, you know, we're we're we're, we're starting a fine line with Waple Chew, you know. But he's blue, obviously, and more superior than whatever you think it is because it has sunglasses. <laughs> Very clearly, the the better quality stuff. But uh, I'm not gonna give away all the jokes on these. Uh, I'm just kind of you know showing off the boards because I'm looking at the side that you're not seeing. It's so it's 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 so different seeing these boards in person and touching them and being hype about them and then just looking at them on a computer screen. Like oh yeah, when you when you actually get to hold and touch yeah. the thing that you created yeah. and you've worked on for so long. Is this what babies it's are amazing. like? Is, <laughs> actually, yeah, they, it, it kind it, of is. I made this. And it, oh it, god! And it took about as long too. Yeah, you're not wrong. <laughs> Yeah, God, this was, took it took me two minutes to make this. This was I mean uh, nine months. This was about <laughs> nine months, wasn't it? Yeah. Whoo, time flies. But that's I mean, nine months for this. I mean, yeah. keep in mind all these characters have been around for twenty five years. Right, right, right. Most of the characters Assigning, and a lot of the concepts and everything. I'd like to do once the game gets out. Once we get like two or three of these out, you know, like the first whole box set is done. I'd like to do a little like. A quick show of what the you remember what the original rules for this game were? Oh yeah. Like you remember remember the other project that won't be talked about on this, but the the rules for that, but almost a more complicated version of those rules <clears throat> were the rules for this. This had and it also had, it had a dice rolling. Yeah, six dice and uh, the. I won't get too much. I'm, I'm not going to get all the way into it now because that gives away some stuff I don't want to talk about. But, but. The, the dice, though, keep in mind that, remember, we were going to have dice and we took out the dice. Yeah. And now this is called... No Dice. No Dice. Is this series the number? It was, uh, it was pretty legit. <laughs> yeah, I really... I mean, this, wow. This is... Uh, how are your fingers? Are you good? Yeah, here. Please, touch things. Check, check out how this feels. Here. Check out the cards. Like, I really like the... I especially like the cards because the background, this is something that we talked about earlier. Oh, on, yeah, go ahead. And, um, was that the backgrounds didn't like muddle get the wings and, and stuff? Large wings and like, uh, large this wings one and here wings is, wings is a great example of a background that I really liked initially because it does. Okay. It just shows the dude. With Zach's. Uh, I, was, I was originally for not Zach's doing much of the backgrounds until we started putting up this. Uh, I don't know who initially came up with it, but coming up with the blurred. Stuff still going on in the background. Oh yeah, yeah, really me. set the tone. And uh, this is my favorite addition that I that you made after after we started putting non-colored backgrounds was the little white border around everybody, which is yeah, just really it's that. gold. Like you can see it from like you know if yeah. I got it way back here, you can still tell the outline of Lou. Yeah, it really makes things white, pop out. Line. Uh, same with text. You know, if you've got, do we have any text? Yeah, perfect. The this right here, the anime, uh, anime. Uh, that right there is the white with the black outline. That you can read over anything, which is beautiful. Just thought I would mention that. Yeah, and the cheese on the side. I uh. I'm ordering from Michael too. This guy's not in the right spot. I mean, what? This guy's not in the right spot. <laughs> I kind of think it's funny to switch him around. Uh, the story is also on the website, right, Bob? Huh? Uh, no, it's not on the website yet, but it is going to be. But it will be, okay. Yeah. I just remember we talked about yeah. that. Yeah, please. That's pretty sick. Uh, yeah, hey, uh, <laughs> I'm getting the hurry the hell up. So, 
play the game. Are you excited about it? I'm hyped. This is gonna be a lot of fun. Good quality, uh, good and everything. The and quality looks fantastic to me. I can't wait to meet everybody and show them the sweet game that we birthed from our mind loins. Can I say that? <laughs> of course. Okay. But uh, take care. This is Michael Matson, Bob, the rest of the family.